Hello, friends. Good morning. Let's take four deep. Great, let's do calendar. All right, so today is Wednesday, Wednesday, March 25th. So it is still March. We're almost done March. Are you ready to count? Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, louder, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, quiet, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right, great job. What's next? What's next? Oh, how are you feeling? How do you feel today? Hmm. How do you feel today? Great, thank you. I am, I am a little sad today. A little sad, it is Wednesday. And what do we do on Wednesday? That's right, we swim on Wednesday. So I hope that we can go swimming soon. Yeah. There we go. All right. Let's do our question of the day. Hmm. What do you like? What do you like? Bubbles, sand toys, water balloons. Which one? Which one? Oh, which one does Mark teach? Uh, which one does Mr. Stubbs like? Yeah, I love, I love balloons. No? Oh, I like bubbles. That's right. I love bubbles. Do you like bubbles? Ooh, that didn't work. Yay! <coughs> All right. All right, so we did calendar, we did how we're feeling, question of the day. Let's do some signs. All right. This is a new one for today. Who? 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 Red. Red, yeah, red. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. 
next. 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 Yeah. Joke of the day is next. Look, 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 yeah, look. Oh, my favorite one, are you ready? Yeah, squirrel, 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 use your two fingers, squirrel, like they're eating an acorn. Bacon. Bacon. Mm. Use your two fingers. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. Excellent. Beef. Beef. Great. This is beef. You pinch. Yeah, sort of pinch this part of your hand. Beef. Well done. All right, here's the last one. Giraffe. Giraffe. Giraffe has a long neck. Giraffe. Yeah, awesome, great job. All right, are you ready for joke of the day? All right, joke of the day. Why did the melon jump into the lake? Why did the melon jump into the lake? It wanted to be a watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. All right. It's time for our book. Copy me, copy cub. Yeah. Copy me, copy cub. By Richard Edwards and the pictures by Susan Winter. No. Yeah. Did it snow yesterday? Yeah, it snowed a lot. You see my backyard? Yeah, there is a lot of snow. Most of it melted. And the squirrels are having fun. It was spring in the North Woods, and the bears were out exploring. Everything his mother did, the cub did too. When his mother splashed through a swamp, the cub splashed through a swamp. When his mother sat down for a scratch, the cub sat down for a scratch. You know what you are, his mother said. You're a little coffee cup. From spring into summer, the bears wandered, looking for things to eat. When his mother picked berries, coffee cup picked berries. When his mother climbed a tree for honey, Copy cub climbed a tree for honey. Yes, you're my own little copy cub, his mother said, and gave him a big hug. Autumn came and the days grew colder. One morning when the bears awoke, there was a frost on the ground. It's time for us to go to our cave, said Mother Bear. 
Winter's coming, and soon it will be too cold to stay outside. The cave will shelter us from the snow. Follow me, Copy Cup, and keep close behind. The mother lolloped through the trees. Copy Cup lolloped through the trees. What a great word, lolloped. His mother waded streams. Copy Cub waded streams. He's swimming. It was a long journey for a small bear. Copy Cub tried his best to keep up, but he was beginning to feel very tired when something cold and wet touched the end of his nose. It was beginning to snow. Snow fell quickly, snow fell thickly, blowing into Copy Cub's eyes so he could hardly see the way. Ice fringed his fur and his paws were numb with cold. He couldn't go one step further. All he wanted to do was go down and sleep. Oh! But his mother came back for him. You can't sleep here or, you, or you'll freeze, she said. Come on, Copy Cub. The cave's not far, just a few more steps. Copy me. Wake up, Copy Cub. We're here, Copy Cub. Behind a tumble of rocks was the entrance to the cave. Yeah, right there. There's the cave. Have you ever been into a cave? Soon they were inside. The cave was quiet and dry and carpeted with leaves. Copy Cub's mother hugged him until he was warm. We're safe now, she said. Soon we'll be sleeping tight. And when we wake up, it will be springtime again. They watched the snow falling outside. Then they snuggled down into the leaves. His mother yawned. Copy Cub yawned. His mother put her arms around Copy Cub. Copy Cub put his arms around his mother. His mother said, Good night, my little Copy Cub. See you in the springtime. But Copy Cub didn't answer. He's sleeping. He was already asleep. happy I'm able to talk to you and I hope you enjoy watching me. If you have any suggestions, let mom and dad know and have them email me or text me. All right. It is time for some deep breaths. All right. Third one. All right. So listen and be kind. Bye.
I'll see you tomorrow.